Today we are going to show you the roof rack assembly. Please make sure you have all the parts that come with the box. First, we are going to assemble the first part. Before the assembly, give a brief inspection on all the parts, especially the edge of the silver tubes and the midsection tubes. If there is, simply use a blade handy file to, to smooth it out. Use a paper towel or a rag, spray some W40 on it, then simply apply it to the inner surface of the tubes. After all the preparations, the assembly will be easier. First, we attach the midsection tube on the silver tube onto the corner unit. On the other side, attach the midsection tube onto the corner unit, 1 fourth quarter inch in. Then slightly align the silver tube with the corner unit and push in. Please repeat the same method for the other side. Now we are going to install both sides of the rack. Simply attach all the tubes onto the attachment unit. As you can see here, there is a four bolting point at each corner. This is provided by the manufacturer as optional, which is not drilled yet. But we recommend use it to tighten all the attachments. First, use a drilling tool to drill an opening for screw. After you have drilled, open all the bolting spots. Use the screws that came with the package to secure all attachments. Now we're moving on to part three of the assembly. First, put the bottom bar in first. Align all the bolting points with the body of the rack. Put the washer first, then the bolt, and then lock nut on bottom. Repeat the same method on all other parts. Now we are at the last part, installation on vehicle. Please put the roof rack on top of the vehicle first. Align the bottom bar of the roof rack with the crossbars on vehicle. Note, if the rack did not align with the crossbar, you might need to relocate the crossbar to align with the roof rack. This only applies to vehicles with adjustable crossbar. First, put the U-shaped bolt from the top. Second, put on the metal plate. Use one hand to hold on the U-shaped bolt and metal plate together. Third, put the lock nut on. Always tighten it evenly for best results. After everything's installed properly, yank the rack and make sure it's secure on the vehicle. 